Hello everyone, down in the garage today with a little maintenance project we're going to do. Uh, this is Mama Bear's Summer Ride. It's a uh, 1999 Porsche Boxster, Porsche 986. It's due for its spring annual maintenance, which every year includes an oil change. In this case, this year, it's been two years since we did, I flushed the brake fluid, so the brake fluid's going to get flushed as well. This has been a great little car for her. I've always done um, the maintenance on it. Uh, quite honestly, if uh, I couldn't justify owning something like this if I had to pay the factory, um, the factory tax. And um, yeah, if if you have one of these or you're thinking of getting one, uh, they're pretty easy to work on. They're neat little cars. I guess the most major thing I've done to it was a couple of years back. I replaced the IMS bearing myself. It's a fairly big job. I wouldn't recommend tackling that unless you know what you're doing. Um, also replaced the um, convertible top. Um, wasn't too bad. Uh, these things originally came with a vinyl convertible rear window and they crack. Uh, so I replaced the top with, uh, and this one's got the glass. Just the or normal maintenance stuff. Change the plugs, um, change the water pump, you know, just stuff like that. Uh, the biggest hassle with these is actually lifting them up. They're so low to the ground that you need a low profile jack and there's not many safe lifting spots for them. And if you don't know where to lift them, you can do a lot of damage to the car. So I'm going to show you that. There's basically four factory jack points if you had a normal hoist, but do it yourself or garages. Most of us don't have a four point hoist. We have to use a jack and jack stands. I don't have to comment about the safety concerns here if you're not comfortable you know lifting a car up a 3,000 pound hunk of equipment and uh, working under it then don't do this uh, you want a nice level clean surface um, to work on and as far as the uh, jacking equipment like I said you need a fairly low profile jack to fit under the car um, to access the jacking points and uh, this one's also fairly high lift so it works well and then you need four jack stands and these are just your average ordinary axle jack stands but what I've done is I've welded two little hunks of um, square bar on the side of the axle cradle um, so I've got a flat surface and I've actually um, glued hockey pucks to the top of them and that gives a nice solid um, and safe surface for the factory um, jacking points for it to rest on that and also on my floor jack I also put a little hockey puck on there um, just uh, it just saves uh, the the jacking points from getting scratched um, you don't have to do that of course it's just my method I've been using it for years so I always start on the 986 I jack up the rear first before the front because I have to do a brake fluid flush all the wheels have to come off so I want the car lifted up on all four corners and I want it level. I'm going to lift up the rear first. Some people say to lift up the front. I just find lifting the rear is easier for me because then I can get the jack underneath the front easier. So we'll start with the rear. I'll show you what, uh, where I lift it and then uh, put the uh, jack stands under the rear. Okay so we're under the car showing the jack uh, where I'm lifting it. This this is one of the rear suspension mounting points. It's very rigid and strong. You don't want to lift it from the engine or the transmission. But this mounting point, there's two of them, one on either side of the car. Um, I'm lifting it on the driver's side, so the left side. Um, there's a big aluminum stable um, arm, a long arm that comes to it. And then it bolts to this vertical suspension mount. So it's very safe to lift at this point and we'll just jack it up. Okay, so here's a picture of it now. It's jacked up. You can go higher. It depends what you're doing under the car. I'm only doing an oil change and flushing the brake fluid so we don't even need it this high. One thing to note though when you lift, lift it up at this point, the side that you lift it on is going to be slightly higher than the other side. So the car's got a slight lean to the uh, right right now. Um, you want to set your jacks though at the same height. Uh, so this side, um, the, the left side is just going to drop down a little bit more once the jack stand is under it. But you'll see what that's about when we get to it. 
Okay, we're at the right rear of the car here. Here's the factory little button. Okay, that you that you lift or that you support the weight from. And this is the uh, like I said, this is the right rear corner. So this side's actually a little uh, sitting a little lower than the left rear uh, because I'm lifting uh, the left rear with the jack, and there's a slight lean to the car to the right but you want to have both your jacks at the same height. So when we lower it, uh, the rear will be absolutely level. So we'll just put the, uh, this other jack on the other side and uh, we'll lo slowly lower it. Okay, so we've got both the uh, rear jacks set under the lift points and now we're gonna very, very slowly lower the jack. I need two hands for this, sorry about this. Just gonna put this down. Not enough control on the release here. Okay, here we go. So it's just slowly lowering. And before all the weight's off, just stop it. I'm just gonna check that other jack, make sure it's still lined up under the lifting point. So there's what you want to see. You want to see your jack centered under those little lifting points. And it's on both uh, the left and the right uh, rear lifting points. So now we'll move to the front. Okay, so we're at the front. There's a, uh, here's the chassis rail. And right at the front of the chassis rail, it's very sturdy and strong. And you can lift from that point. And here's the little factory uh, jacking point uh, further to the outside and this is where we will put our axle stand and we've already got the one on the other side and and the height of these stands are set to the exact same height as the rears as well so when we put this down um, the car will be uh, level as it's supported in the air and again just go very slow um, as you're lowering it and yeah I don't have to tell you that uh, if you don't know what you're doing here um, you could do a lot of damage to the car and or yourself. So, but I've done this a lot of times now. And uh, so we'll just have a look at the car now that it's uh, up in the air. Okay, so now that it's lifted up in the air, you can see what it looks like. It's not too high, but again, it's high enough for me to get underneath to change the oil, high enough to take the wheels off to flush the brakes. If you were doing something more major, like pulling the transmission, um, then yeah, of course, you're going to have to have it higher. And yeah, it's amazing how much work you can do on these things uh, once it's lifted up in the air uh, with floor jacks. You know, everything, like I said, I had to do the IMS bearing. You know, transmission came out, lots of room. Yeah, we did, I did the clutch too at that time. But, um, and I should also mention, before you take the weight off the floor jack, and all the weight is on the, uh, the axle stands, you know, just jiggle the car a bit just to make sure it's good and solid but if you've got those axle stands they're all at the same height and they're underneath those factory support buttons the car is going to be really uh, safe and sturdy but again uh, it's critical that you know what you're doing here because there's a lot of weight being supported here and you have to have everything's got to be nice and level and true so nothing's wobbling nothing's loose again safety is uh, is so important at this stage. The next two jobs are pretty simple. We'll start with the oil change, then we'll do the brake flush.